Depending upon where you play, a drive can be just as popular, if not more popular, than a third shot drop into the kitchen. If you're going to defend a drive, you need to have some good blocking skills. And that's what we're going to cover today. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. If you want mine, hit the subscribe button over here. What it does is it's gonna give you a little notification anytime that I post a new video, and it makes it easier for other people to find this channel and for me to keep making these videos. Today you're seeing more drives than ever before. It's not replacing the drop shot, but it certainly is something that you need to be ready for. And a good effective block is gonna help you to do that. So the first thing we want to talk about when we talk about blocking is getting in your ready position. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your weight's up on the balls of your feet. That way you can move from side to side so you've utilized your split step, you're ready to go. The next thing that you want to do is make sure that your paddle is up here out in front of you because when we contact the block, we're going to contact it out in front of us. Now typically it's a little easier for most people, especially if you're just starting out with this, to, to do the block on your backhand side. And that's kind of what I'm going to show you today. So with the block, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and my paddle is either going to be straight up and down or maybe just slightly tilted. And the feel of the block is that I absorb the power of the shot coming to the paddle. So it's almost like it comes back and forward. So it's just a very short little motion back and forward. I'm not trying to necessarily hit this deep. I'm just trying to put it back into court and take the power off of it. So it looks a little something like this. Now, if you've just started playing pickleball and you're new to blocking, I, I really recommend the motion being just straight back and straight through. And again, it's very small. It's probably only about an inch to two inches type of a motion for this block. If you've been playing for a little bit and you're trying to really deaden the ball, you're starting to learn how to soften the ball, what you can do is tilt the paddle back just a little bit and make this again it's still going to be a very small motion make this a, a high to low so we're moving the paddle down about an inch now there's no wrist i'm not flicking my wrist at it it's still the same motion but the paddle goes a little bit more like this so again beginners you can go straight forward and if you've been doing this for a while feeling fairly confident with it try and move the paddle high to low that's going to put a little backspin on the ball help to deaden the shot and make it even more effective i am super fortunate that i have a great training partner and we can fire balls that are basically a paddle high or so above the net to each other and that we can practice this drill a lot. And one of the things I love about training with her is she will intentionally hit one high every once in a while, so I have to get out of the way. So it also challenges me to make sure that I just don't get into the habit of hitting the ball back, that I let the ball go out if it truly is out. If you got value from this video, if you want mind giving a little thumbs up, tell me, how do you practice your blocking? What are the things that you do? Put it down in the comments below, because together we can train smart, live bold, and age well.